Uh, what is going on, buddy? Hello! It is Pixabotters here, and welcome back <laughs> to Paranormal Sight. That was a Paranormal Sight right there. When we <laughs> left off, we are playing as Tetsuo Tutsumi and the Detective Cop Buddy Duo yeah. going forward now that we have a curse of our own that tells us when people lie. How fitting for Detective. But we're on the hunt for more after successfully and not killing someone getting a curse stone off of them, which kind of gives us, the I think, the glasses. We, we kind of have two powers. This is going to be really weird. <laughs> yeah, what's, his one was the, the, the feet washing thing. Yes, and it's simply someone hearing the command word wash. That's right. Is what, so I don't know how that's exactly going to work. <laughs> wash. But, <laughs> all right, we're just going to go and continue forward. Now that we have the foot washing mansion from Yutaro, mm -hmm. Namagaki, we head to the next destination. Imagine he's Let's like, go. Hey, Ariel, did you wash your hands? Fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> so, Midorochi Park is where we're going next. At 1 a.m. <sighs> Let's see what we find. Oh, look, G Fuel. <laughs> <laughs> God. Who the fuck is that? Excuse me, sorry to bother you, but we have some questions for you. Oh, Who the fuck sketchy. is that? <laughs> That's side eye. Alright, she. <laughs> Are you with the police? I haven't done anything. Don't worry, this isn't an interrogation or anything. We just want to talk. So you're Hideki Araishi, right? The historian. We know who you are, so this won't take long. Since we saw you here, we'd just like to ask you a couple questions. <laughs> he's squinty <Okay>. eyes. <laughs> he looks like he's been through some shit. Well, he let's looks read like a little bit about him. He trust issues. I think he's a historian who works part-time as a curator at the local folk museum and as a teacher at Komagata High School. His recent publication on the right of resurrection has <clears> caused <throat> a stir in local circles. Hmm. Uh, Hideki is a quintessential observe obsessive researcher, despite being entirely unsuited for teaching, he had no choice but to take up a position at Komogata High School in order to make ends meet. While having a captive audience in his class has gone some way to go some way to satisfy his need for respect and recognition, his conceited nature makes him unpopular among the students. Maybe he's concerned that articles he contributed for purely monetary reasons mm. have earned him a reputation as a researcher of the occult, but the surge of interest in the topic and the resulting volume of article requests he is receiving are undeniably tempting. I think he is a regular at the Kuro Kikyo Cafe Yay, you on did it. Hakusai Street, where he can be found outside his work hours writing essays and manuscripts. He, his published books include A Story of the Unknown and An Introduction to Bando History. I'm so Bandai proud of Namco. you. Why, thank you. Like, that was an easy one to mess up, but you didn't. Oh, well, let's get it over with. I'm a busy man. <laughs> Those two, there were all three of us are just... Yeah. Let me think for a moment. Let me think. Hideki Araishi says he's a local historian. But suppose he knows more about the Rite of Resurrection than anybody. Mm. The fact he's here at this time of night, it's plenty possible that he's a curse bearer. Yeah. Also, do Partner. we... Hi, buddy. <clears throat> Cushy people like this can put unnecessary stress on them depending on their position. This guy's pretty sharp. I have to play it safe. I only push him when I see an opening. What were you saying? Uh, did we <clears throat> ever do the... Put the volume back on? I don't even fucking know. That's a great question. The, the I voice, did, did the hi, voice. just in case. Nope. I'll put it right there. Just in case put we it need there, it. Pal. Just in case I have to have the voice on here to save my own life. Uh, well, let's uh, look at him. For appearances, it's hard to imagine this small, buckish, well-spoken man being very dangerous. But in this day and age, you never know. I should be careful. Hmm. Hey, you. Well, let's ask Hideki some questions. Okay, well, let's talk. What are you doing? <laughs> You're right. Here we go. Now, Mr. Rice, <coughs> what were you doing here at this time of night? D doing research, of course. Day or night information never sleeps. <laughs> That's an admiral philosophy. You know, your research has been quite the tank talk around town. What was it they were saying? You discovered something about some book? Ah, <laughs> Uh, fucking, I don't remember. Isn't it like the Scroll of Fates? That's what I, that's what was ringing to me, so the Scroll of Fates, I'll roll with it. Uh. <laughs> it's obviously don't know a thing. It's the record of Fates, how rude. Oh, God. Yeah, that's it. Sorry about that. Should've done my <laughs> Harry research. was just like, uh. But it's true that you found some kind of ritual in that book, right? No, don't tell me you don't want to know how to carry out the Rite of Resurrection too. To be perfectly honest, I'm tired of people asking me about it all the time. 
They even care about the local history. He has come crawling out of the woodwork when something interesting comes up. Looks like a hidden nerve. If you think you can force me to tell you because you're policeman, you're sorely mistaken. Oh, well, let's talk a little bit more. What were you doing? Was the research you were doing just now also related to the Rider Resurrection? Well, yes, that's right. What exactly were you looking for? I have no reason to tell you that. You would understand anyway. Try me. <laughs> he said, what were you doing? What was the research you were doing just now also related to the Rider Resurrection? Well, yes, that's right. Okay, great info. <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> is it is it just is yeah. it just gonna be that from now on? All right, fine. What about his research? Are you doing all this research so you can use the right of resurrection yourself? <laughs> you policeman, do you really think people can be brought back to life? Everyone I meet, pitiful. Huh? So you don't believe in the right? Well, it's really has nothing to do with my research. Such things are better left to the occult freaks. Or, so I thought. Huh? Things changed. It's become necessary for me to pursue the right. So now, now I pray that it's real. What's changed? <laughs> I'm sure you can imagine the funds for my research. I received a large amount of funding for seeking the right of resurrection. And if I find it, I'll receive a sum so great that I'll never have to worry about money again. Oh, then that means someone is sponsoring your research. Is that right? So what if they are? <laughs> you have no idea how hard we work to secure funding for our research. I have no interest in teaching those children. Listen to me, I'll tell you one thing. Those experts you see writing provocative books or spreading nonsense to friends to get popular, all of them are just trying to get the money they need to do their research. With that popular the occult is saying something even remotely spooky can lead to big money. What? But I bought your book! <laughs> the pursuit of the unknown begins first and foremost with belief. I was inspired by that bit. I do appreciate your patronage. Unfortunately, however, the occult is not my true interest. The fate of the unknown is to be destroyed by thorough research and deep consideration. No way. I can't believe it. You're surprisingly innocent. My life is a lie. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Anything else to say on that? What kind of research do you want to be doing? <laughs> I'm sure it would interest you, but to put it simply, the focus of my research is how historical accounts transform into folklore over the years as they are passed down from generation to generation. What does that mean? <laughs> Due to human bias, the account of any event is inevitably changed by the person's community. You sound like two different people right now. It's amazing. That's like talent. I'm doing best. Skill. Good this job. It's not necessarily done with ill intentions. It happens when someone tries to fill in the gaps in a story that lacks detail. Or when something's left out or abridged because of the story's length. Or when a story twists and shifts as it's spread through oral tradition. Even when two stories are told about the same event, differences in culture and environment at affect how it's told, changing its content. Say little things can turn into terribly mysterious legends. My research is a study of how history, culture, and legend all influence each other. Huh, I see. Take the Seven Mysteries of Anjo, for oh, example. here he goes. <laughs> Why are some of the mysteries seemingly about nothing particularly interesting? You'd think stories wouldn't last a decade, let alone hundreds of years. So why? Perhaps putting it that way piques your interest? I admit I am curious. Since you've been researching all this time. Makes sense. As I said, it doesn't matter to me whether the right exists or not. If people in the Edo period believed that was what was written in the Record of Fates was real, that's all I'm interested in. Hmm. Huh. Anything else on that front? But if be realistic, the research I like to do is unfortunately not very lucrative. So I need to take some risks. I'll take this all on that front. About the record of fates. This record of fates. Where'd you get your hands on it? The storehouse of an old private residence in the city, just as the public was told. I am able to be more precise to an agreement with my informant. I'd like you to... Okay, so what were you doing then? <laughs> well, in that case, I think I might have a guess as to what it is you were looking for. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> much down here. Like, I don't even know where the fuck I am anymore and all this stuff down there. All right. <clears throat> so, he's looking for research. So, I mean, he wouldn't be worried about soul dregs or the curse stones. He's all about the stories. So, he's looking at for the seven mysteries themselves. 
Because that's the purpose of his research, is the stories and how they're told. Because pretty much all three of these are in the same realm. I guess so. And he hasn't lied, otherwise our curse would have, our curse yeah. ability would have gone off. So, Seven Mysteries. Huh. I'm surprised you know that. There's indeed a theory that the Seven Mysteries of Hanji began because of the Rite of Resurrection. Well, my theory. Unraveling the Seven Mysteries may reveal the secret of the Rite. I think quite a few people are looking into the mysteries for that reason. Mineritio Park is connected to the story of the story of the Taiko of Suguru, right? That's right. But that isn't the issue at hand. Well, then pray tell what it is. He, he's the issue. Well, in him. that case. Oh, so I guess that wasn't. It was I, kind I thought, of the I answer. I thought it was curse stones. Well, let's see then. What? Yeah, if you know about that, ha! then. Calm down. Then you get so defensive. Oh. Ooh. Fuck it. Let's go for it. Oh. We both want information, right? Don't have a nice, friendly chat. A, a curse stone? Are you a curse bear? No, you he, are a curse bear. Yeah. The leaf? Is the evergreen beach then? Yep. Will you show me yours? If you show me yours, I'll show you mine. <laughs> <laughs> what? The fuck? Oh. This is mine. Never burning lantern. Huh. Interesting. Because, I mean, we still have our the other one in the back pocket. Yeah, but that one's kind of limited. Let me see if I look at the... The, uh... The Everburning Lantern. Uh, yeah, that's the way I heard it says. Perpetually lit. Fire. Brightly. <laughs> I don't can, know if I should reveal the details. It would show that we have a fucking upper hand on him. No, a real man. I'll <laughs> tell you this for free. The Evergreen Beach comes from a man who was hanged for spreading false rumors. But the accusations against him were unfounded and he died cursing those who deceived him. Ah, uh, so that's the resentful memory hole within the Evergreen Beach. The memories of the seven mysteries are truly fascinating. If only I could collect them all. Do whatever you want. But you should know something. This stone of mine lets me curse anyone who tries to mislead me. What? But... So don't try to lie to me. I'll know. <laughs> you... You would curse a citizen? And you call yourself an officer of the law? That all depends on you. I don't want to use it if I don't have to. <laughs> what is it you want? The curse stones are dangerous. I'd like to confiscate yours. A excuse me? Uh, but my, my right. First, let me ask you one thing. <laughs> you. You haven't used that curse, have you? Oh. No, of course I haven't, I swear. Well, buddy. You have. <laughs> hmm. I see. Good. <laughs> then why don't you hand over that stone? Unless you'd rather try using it on me instead. Damn you, I won't give it to you. If I were to say that, what would happen? Would it be a crime? The police are aware of how dangerous the stones are. I can arrest you under Article 1, Section 2 of the Minor Offenses Act. But you hand it over and all you lose is your secret ability. Think what would happen to all your research if you were arrested. <laughs> Fine. You can get this stone here. Wow. Well, that was easy. Alright. Hey, we can read everything now. <clears throat> All right. Um, Who killed? Uh, holy shit! Oh boy, hang on. I didn't even read it, but uh, oh my I don't god! Think that yet, so. so kills the disemboweled one. Kills by disembowelment. One who finds himself trapped in darkness of the curse echo. So, so this is the guy that Sh tried to Shogo that was put almost us, disemboweled. That put Shogo in the box yeah. in that timeline. Yeah. <coughs> no, mind yeah, me as that, my throat. That uh, dude hates all this, but. When Hanjo was filled with samurai residences. Do you want me to read this? <laughs> sure, go ahead and take it. Just be creepy and eerie about it. It's a horror story. So you gotta you gotta you gotta you go. You are being creepy though. <laughs> Listen. When Hanjo was filled with samurai residences, <laughs> the spies the shogunate lived amongst the townspeople to keep an eye on things. Shogunate. Shogunate. The silver cart on South Wagurasui served as one of their outposts. 
who would communicate to each other in code by turning the lantern on or off. Tonight at 4 a.m. meant that someone would be having the last soba of their life oh. and that their belly would be sliced open the next night. Uh. An unfortunate incident occurred in which a man attacked a woman in a bout of fury. He regretted it deeply, even declining to invoke the right to defend his honor. But the deed was done. Still, he could not accept it. His rage at having been used by his d- daimyo da- yeah. boiled over, turning into a grudge he would never forget. It's like a feudal Nearby, lord. He saw a lantern quietly glowing in the night, and when the sixth bell rang, the man cut his own stomach open. Since then, the lantern could be seen alight before the soba cart had opened, and would flicker out suddenly even when there was no wind blowing. As this unsettling phenomenon continued, the rumors surrounding it grew, and soon all were convinced that it was the man who cut open his stomach, visiting from the beyond. Oh, fancy. I tried to spare your voice, but all right, go That's all good. Good choice. Look forward to seeing how your research pans out. Huh. All right. Would you tell us everything you know about what's been going on? Have you helped us out? We'll give you all the information we've gotten after we solve the case. What do you say? Mm. Hmm. In that case, will you tell me about all the resentful memories of the Seven Mysteries? Leave there, you keep the secret hidden in the Record of Fates. Sure, why not? <laughs> I'll learn about them as I collect the curse stones. Interesting. Easy, baby. Easy money. Easy money. <laughs> but thanks to you, we learned a lot from him. Now this I is wonder. what they were talking about. The Mysteries and Right are all public information. He kept everything he knows about the other curse bears and the source of the curse here hidden. Also, we need to at least give us a clue about how to beat these curses. Oh, I see. Then we should be more aggressive next time. Really make them spit it out. And by me, I mean we mean you, not me. I'm guessing he wants to save this curse. <laughs> he wouldn't have told us anything no matter what we asked. But now we know where he hangs out. We can always send someone for him if need be. Right, got it. I was surprised to hear that there are actually nine of the seven mysteries, though. Yeah, that's two extra curse bears we have to find. We've confiscated two, so there were six more. They could be anywhere in this town. We have to find them fast. They may start using the curses. No, I think we're already too late. Huh? I didn't tell you this, but there's some soul dregs in Namagaki's curse stone. Really? Then he already killed someone with it? It's not much, so it probably wasn't a curse bear. Shit. Well, we know who did it. We can make arrangements <sighs> to take him into custody. We'll have Paranormal Affairs pick him up tomorrow. <laughs> For now, we continue our search. Right. On to the next place. We just have to cross them off the list one by one. Oh, but boss? Uh-huh. Good to know we can use the Minor Offenses Act to arrest people with curse stones. But why didn't we do that with Namigaki? If we could do that, there'd be no need for Paranormal Affairs. What grounds would a normal detective have to put him under arrest? Oh, right. Yeah, I suppose that's true. (laughs) (laughs) I love those two. Oh, is that all for the... So that next part is probably... I don't know if we have everything to go back to that. I imagine probably not. I mean, we learned a little bit. But I don't think we quite got enough. Mm-hmm. I think we gotta go so to. I think we're kind uh, of locked out on that front. But it's time the, to go check out Yako. <laughs> Yako. The spirit board. Yako Sakazaki searches for the right of resurrection, hoping to revive her friend who jumped to her death. Oh. Get the information she needs. She meets with her classmate Mio Kurizuku. Her friend in their could classroom at midnight to girl. attempt to use the spirit board. Absolute. I think that's an absolute yeah, yes on that yeah, one. Yeah, right there. So yeah. this one also more information than we need to go back up top and get that info. So, let's do it. Now it's your turn to have fun. <laughs> Even though, well, Ario talked a lot, but like, not this time yeah. around. Before he did, he would not stop talking. Dramatic zoom in. Oh boy. Right, so... This is Mio. I and, can be Mio? Uh, God. I'm trying to... Cause Yako. Like, who... I know, but who... Uh, you're distracting me. Sorry. Who, um... Because she's talking to Mio, but isn't Mio... Because she's talking about... To Mio, about her friend who jumped off of the roof. But I thought Mio jumped off of the roof. 
No. Who was it? Um, th- that's the uh, the that's the the person that was hanging out with the. Uh, that's the one that was saying that was gonna curse the one guy yeah. that witnessed, but that wasn't Mio because okay. Mio's obviously right here. I and just not where dead. have we heard her name before? I don't know if we have. We have. If so, they're never registered in the in the people of interest. So we've heard it though. Oh no, let's not focus on that. But she's important. We've heard her but name. We, I I don't I don't know that we have in anything we have, relevant. But we let's have. just go forward because we don't have anything to go off of right now. Do you want to be me? That should be everything. <laughs> okay, let's start. <laughs> Ready for this, Shaka? I love how that's your go-to high school girl <laughs> voice. Hey, listen, your voice uh, for Yako wasn't any better. No. <laughs> so are you ready or you need a second? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. It's close to Hello. Yako Sakazaki. Okay, now we have a person of interest. Yako is a student in class 2C at Komagata High School, unable to comprehend why her childhood friend and classmate, Michio, that's right, she's the one that committed suicide. She attempted to, and maybe just the Michio and Mio kind of just. No, we've, I remember we've heard Mio. However, it might have just been the fact that she was just trying to go inside, but. So, committed suicide and to investigate the incident herself. However, she was able to make any progress in feeling desperate, invited her transfer student, invited transfer student Mio Kurosuzu to join her in performing a spirit board ritual. Born and raised in Hanjo, Sumida City, Yako's family has owned and operated a beloved candy shop. Sanoya since establishment in the early Showa era. Despite her modest appearance, Yako is a cheerful and vivacious young woman with a sense of duty and compassion so strong that she is easily moved to tears. <laughs> she is also a bit quick-tempered and quarrelsome, always prepared to stand up against those who harm her family or friends. It is possible, however, that this readiness to fight is more driven by an innate love of chaos. Yako's winning streak against arrogant boys and scraps since she was a child remains <laughs> unbroken. And is a source of considerable stress oh, for her mother. <laughs> but yeah, like Mio, I thought she was part of the the the, the paranormal police stuff. Remember? Like check check uh check Tetsuo. Scroll down. Mm. I mean, I know he has a daughter, and we were talking about the similarities between. Or check. Uh, we check, learned check, we check, learned check, that um check, Yoko check. was one of the members that we're pretty sure of, because of the way they were talking. What? Check 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 my boy. Hold on, hold on. Check. I mean, I have to. I'd have to go to files to figure out on that one. With uh, boy, where would it be at? Would it be under just culture and society where, 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 if they have where, the paranormal, uh, paranormal affairs bureau? Yep, there Mio, it is. Mio, right okay. there. Yeah, I told you I've seen it before. Okay, there we go. We got the answer. She's a All major right. character. She's important. All right. All right, let's start then. <laughs> this is the spirit board. This is how we'll be communicating. <laughs> First, we'll both put a finger on the 10 yen coin that's on the board. Oh, boy. Like that. <laughs> oh, like this. Just like that. Relax your finger as much as you can. Now for the chant. Repeat what I say, okay? Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, please visit us. <laughs> Your turn. Spectre of the Spirit Board. It was it was literally Spirit of the Spectre Board. No, it was, it was Spectre, Spectre of the, the Spirit Board. Did I go dyslexic? You did. It's Spectre of the Spirit Board, Evan. Fuck it. God damn it. Spe- Spectre of the Spirit Board. <laughs> Fuck, now I can't remember anything. It's pe- oh my please god. Please visit us. Yes. Please visit us. <laughs> Just, I thought you were letting me answer these. Let my memory do it. Sorry. <laughs> Spectre of the Spirit Board. Spectre of the Spirit Board. Please visit us. Good. <laughs> Please face. tell us if you are there. Do I need to put my finger on that? Oh. It's there. <gasps> oh, it really moved. Looks like we succeeded in the summoning. We can ask questions now. Right. Questions. Start the question you know the answer to and see the response. Then, when you know your questions are being answered truthfully, you can ask what you really want to know. Okay, I'll start with something simple. Uh, what is my name? That's what I was thinking. I think you should know the answer to this. 
Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. What is my name? I don't think it knows us, but... Huh? What's the matter? How strange. My name's not no! <laughs> <laughs> it told me no! I bet it means it doesn't know. Maybe the Spectre of the Spirit Board, but it does know everything. This be really the real deal. That's how you know it's real. Oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> it's fine. I feel like it's giving <clears throat> me attitude. <laughs> um, what is this place? Because it would know where we are if it's a spirit that yeah. resides here. So. Oh, Spectre, the spirit board. Where are we? H. I. O G. My. H. God. S Hi, Hi Sky. <laughs> <laughs> Sky High? That was a movie. <laughs> <laughs> God. Fascinating. H I G H S C H O O L. What does that spell? High school, that's right. The answers don't seem to be very precise. Is it really you? I was back through the spirit board. You're truly the specter of the spirit board? Th what? <laughs> What, you said no? Is it lying? Not quite. The Spectre of the Spirit Board is just a temporary name we call them when using the board. We're actually calling a spirit with a strong tie to this place or one of the people participating. In other words, the spirit that just happened to be nearby just felt like answering. They don't really think to themselves as a Spectre of the Spirit Board. Oh, really? Huh. Looks like some kind of the mystique has uh, disappeared. Do you mind if I still call you the Spectre of the Spirit Board? I highly mind. <laughs> yes, okay. Um, thanks. Always good to remember to say please and thank you. Um, what is this girl's name? Do you know? Fine, what is the name of the girl across from me? Oh. Well, it knows her. Well, she is like a psychic or whatever. That is true. Mio, that's right. <laughs> that's not fair. It knows your name, Mio. It even used that weird character you used to spell your name. How flattering. <laughs> Take it, girl. Well. There we you know, go. transferred to Class 2C for uh, Kanagata High School about two months ago. Well, she's an extremely mild-mannered young woman. She, exude, she exudes a somewhat off-putting dark aura, which makes it difficult for her to form friendships. Mio has, however, found a friend in her classmate, Yako Sakazaki, and has begun opening up to her little by little. Aww. Truth of the matter is that Mio is the apprentice of a famous psychic, possessing exceptional spirit sense. She takes on the troublesome task of surreptitiously handling spirit disturbances that break out in schools across Tokyo before they become a problem. She transfers schools frequently as a result and thus has trouble making human friends. But ghost friends are a plenty. <laughs> Mio's already solved an incident at coming out of high school involving a female student possessed by a spirit. Although she takes effort to hide her spirit sense, many develop an impression that Mio has a deep knowledge of the occult and a paranormal upon first meeting her leading her to be anxious that her secrets have been exposed. The most common comment she receives is that she seems to get along well with crows and black cats. Nice. There wasn't more to that? No, that was it. Oh, cool. I bet even the teachers get it wrong all the time. I guess these paranormal beings just tend to take a liking to you. Huh. I don't know how I should feel about that. Do you know my name now? Do you know You've said it enough times. Ask it again. What's my name? No, okay. <laughs> I didn't even hesitate this time. <laughs> Alright, it's time to try asking serious questions. Yeah. <laughs> Where does Mia <laughs> have a crutch on? Let's just do it. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, Spectre the Spirit Board. What is the name of the boy Mio has a crush on? Hey, you're going to ask that kind of question? Doesn't everyone ask this kind of stuff with Spirit Boards? Besides, I'm curious. No, 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 let's not do this. <laughs> uh -oh. Exactly. Oh, it said no. Does that mean you must you don't have a crush on anyone? Whew. Yeah, that's it. No is correct. Let's move on. <laughs> oh, maybe. Oh, Spectre the Spirit Board, do you mean the boy isn't in our class? Ooh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, stop that. Don't make me exercise you. <laughs> that's the case, then. Oh, Spectre the Spirit Board, is it a teacher in our school? Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh. Oh, no good, huh? Whew! Yako cut it out already. We made the effort to sneak in at night. We shouldn't waste time with these questions. You got a point. That <sighs> was great. <laughs> it was. That was worth it. <laughs> okay, here I go. <clears throat> I'll be serious now. 
Yes, please. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. Did Michio... Did Michio Shiraishi in our class... Who died by committing suicide by jumping one week ago. Really commit suicide? <gasps> ah! So it really wasn't. I'm not surprised. Never believed it from the start. That was the important part. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so we have this now. Hmm, a little bit of picture. info on her. Michio was a second year student at Komagata High School. She was found deceased one week ago in a back alley off South Warigasui Street. Her entire body broken and severely contorted. Ugh. Police determined that Michio committed suicide by jumping from a nearby apartment building. As there was no suicide note, the police based their conclusion on interviews with Michio's peers. Michio was an honor student with a good head on her shoulders and consistently excellent grades, making her a favorite among the teachers. Although she appeared somewhat reserved, she had a positive outlook on life and a courageous spirit. Michio and Yako formed a long-lasting friendship during childhood, with Yako's unbending, uncompromising attitude deeply influencing Michio. Coming beneath her strong exterior, exterior. Mi exterior. <laughs> Michio had been pushing herself too Michio's hard. Michio's exterior. <laughs> and keeping her emotions ball up to the point that they risk they risked overflowing. Following her father's death three years ago and moving to a new house, Michio began avoiding Yako. Although she remained in the same area of town and attended the same high school, they gradually grew further apart. Yako herself worried for her childhood friend, but incapable of wading into complexities of Michio's home life, kept her distance. These days passed. The days passed. <laughs> and though Michio longed to confess everything to Yako, the moment to do so never came. Michio carried no talisman, and went over her father with her at all times. Hmm. Cause of death. No oh, specter of the spirit board. Did Michio Shiraishi die in an accident? No. Oh, it was an accident. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so. It said yes. So it was an accident, not a suicide. Michio. Then did she slip and fall from that apartment building? No. Oh, that was immediate. Huh? She didn't? What do you mean? Michio didn't die from falling? Falling from the apartment building? Just spell it out for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Okay, so. No way! If that were true, why was she lying on the ground like that in the back alley of the apartment building? It was an accident, but not a fall. It was a curse, probably. That's what I've been thinking. Who specter the spirit board? What happened to meet you on that day? I mean, she was talking about cursing people. Mm -hmm. Can't quite answer that one for us, can you? Yeah. Seems like it doesn't know the details. Mm. Oh. Oh, boy. Then how about... Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, we want to use that Rite of Resurrection to bring Michio back to life. Do you know where the Rite of Resurrection is? Right here! No. <laughs> I wonder. Oh. Huh? Oh, God. Ah! What? What is this? Stop! I'm scared of you! Calm down, you can't let it go before it's over. Oh, damn. <laughs> Such deep sorrow. Resentful memories flowing into my mind. Oh, that's me, though. That was, oh, that was me. Shit. <laughs> Fool's procession. That's Kill you. Them. <laughs> Kill them. Those who hear this sound. Kill them all. Oh. You've acquired the power of the curse stone, the Fool's procession. You can use it to kill those who hear the sound produced by the curse echo for more than 30 seconds. If we negate it, if you're seen in that time, press the use curse button to produce the sound. Huh. Interesting. Has That's a complicated one. More than 30 <laughs> seconds that they hear it. Kills kills by fatal fall of when he hears this music for 30 oh. seconds without seeing. So that's what happened. Does it just like fucking throw them up in the air and then they. Bam. Dude. Interesting. I assume that's what killed our uh, dear friend. Yeah. But a resentful memory. Do you want me to read this? <laughs> no, I got this. <laughs> okay, because we got the music going now, too. Omeo stood atop the tall festival tower. It was her time to shine, and she was ecstatic. It had been years since she joined the troupe, but she had yet to enjoy her day in the spotlight. She wasn't particularly pretty, nor was she all that talented. As a gossip and a loudmouth, she wasn't well liked by her peers. Some of the other girls thought of her as a teacher's pet and bullied her. I don't care about them, she thought. I'll use this chance to make something of myself. 
Everything was perfect. She wore a beautiful kimono and an Akame mask over her face. The stage was set. The accompaniment began. She danced with everything she had. Applause rained down upon her from the crowd. Her breathing hastened with excitement. I've got to catch my breath. That's strange. I can't take my mask off. The smell of glue assaulted her nostrils. So that's how it is. I knew it was too good to be true. Her screams were drowned out by the music as she squirmed and struggled. Omeo's giving it her all today! We have to keep up! The crowd livened even more. No, no, please, someone help me! Wow. She fell from the tower, writhing in pain as she begged those around her for help. The music stopped in time with Omeo's heart. Holy shit. It's fucking metal. Yeah. Uh, murderous impulse seeps into my soul like thick black tar. Now, kill. Can you hear it, Curse Bearer? You who so strongly desires the right, kill them. <laughs> uh, hey, Mio! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, okay, let's just move on to the next chapter. Two things to remember. Mm -hmm. One, don't kill everyone. <laughs> yeah. Two, have fun. Okay. <laughs> the approach of the game from the spirit board says that Mi Michio. Michio's death was not a suicide. When they continue to press the spirit board from the location in the right direction, the curse echo suddenly appears. Well, you know what? We'll see what the two things to remember are <laughs> next time. Oh, man. This is... It's all slowly coming together. It is. One day you might have to adjust that voice a little bit. To yeah, handle no. the drama of the situation. I, am, I, I already <laughs> plan to. <laughs> All right. You can still keep it in that school. Just kind of find a way to work around it and make it, you know, serious and dramatic when it needs to it's be. It's just, it works really well for the spirit board thing. Listen, two high school girls <laughs> going in to have a little Ouija board session. It's classic. You know, I, I, I plan on changing it, but for that whole... With all the, like, stuff going on, I'm just like, I need to keep it for at least this bit. <laughs> yeah. Or at least this. 